That's that's how our champions eat right there. One scoop or two scoop. I'm thinking about a new stunt, you know, oh God. through the fire, holding the ice cream. You have to do it. Two different. You have to two do it. I think it'll end up all over. Could be good, couldn't it? <laughs> gentlemen Blackpool hope you guys are having a good day so far thank you for gathering around to watch what I'm about to do here uh, this is a really dangerous stunt so please don't ever try it anyone ever but if you'd like to watch it there's only a few things I ask and that's to start with let me explain what it is I'm about to do and then you can all decide where you'd like to stand where you'd like to watch it or if you'd like to watch the shop so I'm gonna begin here I've got a bit of tape on the ground Measured out very carefully this morning. Now my aim is to run as fast as I can, get up a lot of speed on the runway, and then launch my body through a series of hurdles. The first one has got 20 jagged metal teeth. They are real, they are metal, and they can give a nasty scratch all the way through. That was yesterday when I got it wrong. I don't always get it right, by the way. But to get it right, I'm gonna go through here, not arms first, I'm gonna do flips, I'm going to run through these at about 18, 19 miles an hour. Leg first and then splits. Fold my body in half in midair, try to fit it through there. Yesterday I got it wrong, I hit the frame on the way up, straight my leg, cut myself here on spikes, sliced my back, had to get my fire marshal and medic, stitched me back up, blew me back up to get back out here because I wanted to make sure today I got back on it. Very important when you have an accident as a stunt performer that you get back out there. So if I'm limping a little bit, I apologize. Um, hurdle number three, I should talk about uh, in a moment, but hurdle two has got 28 knives. I've really got to get through both of those without taking the skin off my back and without clipping my sack. Amen, that's the plan, that's what I'm gonna do, because to get up through this one, I've got to be going about 20 miles per hour. If I go any slower, I risk setting myself on fire because these are not flame proof, the clothes that I'm wearing. So people, now that you know what's about to happen, if this is something you feel you'd like to watch, if you feel like you need this in your life right now, could I ask you all to be my audience for this show I'm about to do you? All I ask is that you all come up to, but not in front of, the rope lying around the edge. That'd be amazing. Thank you. And this is my friend who's filming this for his own YouTube channel. It's going to be on. Is it going to be later? Yeah, it will be on later. Okay. So if you're here with someone you shouldn't be, it's a bit late now. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't say OnlyFans. I said something totally. What? Where's your head at? Okay. Hey, it's all right. People, focus. To make this a great show, I need you guys to be a great audience. Okay. So when I start at the top. All I'm going to ask, I'm not going to ask any of you people to come out here and do anything weird or dangerous or embarrassing. I'm going to do all the hard work, but you guys are not off the hook. When I get to the top and I give you the signal, I want to hear you guys right behind me. Okay, a bit of, a bit of encouragement, a bit of support goes a long way in a live street show. I'm only human, not a machine, I'm not a superhero. I'm just a man trying to do a stunt to try and cheer you guys up. Okay, so how about we start right now? Show me one time, you're gonna be a great audience. I'll give you a great stunt. Okay, we got some good vibes here, I like that. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Okay.
sorry folks, if you've got small children next to you, you might want to hold their hands, as long as they're yours, obviously, although it's weird. But keep them safe, keep them safe. If you've got dogs, kids, whatever, strap them in, keep them safe. This is where it gets dangerous. And if you don't want to watch this, I totally understand. Seriously, this is not everyone's cup of tea. You might want to cover your eyes, or look the other way. Seriously, that's okay. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I don't like watching it either. Like I was saying before, that's why I'm going to do this for you all with a blindfold. No eyes. All right. And this is why I got it wrong yesterday. I can't see what I'm doing when I'm running, but I can navigate through these from years of experience, years of practice, and also, most importantly right now, from the sound that you guys are gonna make. When I ask you to make a lot of noise, it's not just for the hype, it's not just to make me feel better, I actually use the sound to navigate through the middle. If I can hear you clapping and cheering, it'll tell me roughly if I'm in the middle. Now, this road, so downward that way and that way. So I have a tendency at 20 miles an hour to run off to the side. Yesterday, I hit the frame here with my shin, ended up in a bad accident. So people on this side, I really need you guys to make a lot of noise. People over here as well. So let me ask you, if you understand what I'm saying, and if you're ready, everyone together, let me hear you say yes. Okay, good. Emma's my fire marshal, my safety medic, and also my partner in chief. She gets very worried because after the accident yesterday, I made a promise. I said, I'm never going to do this stunt again unless I absolutely know the audience is with me. So I appreciate your support, folks. You all right? Okay, the last thing I'm going to say, sorry about the view, by the way. You don't have to film this side. It will get better in a minute. Um, Emma, I'm just on the down to touch. <laughs> Folks, the last thing I'll say is a thank you to you guys. You guys have been a great audience so far. You've stayed to watch my stunt. You've stayed till the end. Can I ask you all, if I get this right, if I do a good job as a street entertainer, please do a good job as an audience, folks. I don't just mean the clapping and cheering. I know you're gonna nail that part, but at the end, just remember this is actually how I earn my living. I'm a street performer, it's the best I've got. And I don't actually get paid by the council or by the peers or by anyone to be here today. What you're seeing right now is your show. I do this for you, okay? All I ask, please do something for me at the end. I'm gonna stand with my black bag. I don't ask for a lot, but I do ask for fairness and for honesty. If you watch my show, if you film my show, if you enjoy my show, put something in. Let me know I'm doing a good thing, folks. Because you guys are the only people who support me, literally. The only people who support street performers are the audiences. I hope that's fair. Is that fair? Yeah. Thank you. And you guys have been a great audience. And if you listen, if you're not, if you're really not sure how much to put in at the end when I'm standing here, I really mean this. No matter how big or how small the gesture, seriously, just fold it up. <laughs> Worth a try. People, I never tell my audience what to put in. If anyone can afford to fold something up, anyone who puts a fiver in or more, as my way of saying thank you, please don't give that to me. Give it to Emma because she's got lanyards. They're stunt runner logo lanyards that have been professionally made. They're in packets, they're for the kids. If anyone wants one of them, it's just a gift from us for anyone who puts a five or more in because we really respect that as a sizable donation. If you can't afford to put a five or more, don't worry. The price of a cup of tea or coffee, okay? A gold coin or two in the hat. When people do that, it really tells us both that we're doing a good thing here. And uh, I hope my life, when I'm about to risk it, is worth the price of a cup of tea or coffee, folks. Is that fair? If you agree, if you're with me, if you think that's fair and reasonable, how about one last round of applause and we'll do this together. Okay. Here we go. Make some 
noise, people. Cheering, clapping, whistling, anything. Raise the roof. Heather Heed on the end of the pier. side of the bargain. Can I ask you all to keep your side too? You've been a great audience. Thank you. Check it, check it. Come on, come on. One lady here. Show us some love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, folks. If you watched it, if you enjoyed it, please show us some love, folks. Thank you. Thank you.